today I'm going to Birmingham to appear at a rink for a rink skate night thing. It's going to be sick. But first I need to take some packages to the post office to send one to Florida, America, and one to Paris in France. So yeah, that's good. Send some gums all over the world. Get me some roll true gums. Roll true. Then after I've done that, I'm gonna come back, get ready, uh, and head off to sunny Birmingham, man. It's not far in the post office. Just, just skate it down. How much is that uh, weight, bro? The weight is 0, 0.45 pigs. Uh, you can have your package done with this. It's going to France. Would you like 10 things back inside? Yes, please, bro. Right, that's the boring stuff out of the way. Good start to the day. Now, I'm going to go wash, pack a little bag. I'm not going to pack too heavy, man, because I'm taking two pairs of skates. One for the Rolls Disco, one for, um, for street skating. So I've already got two pairs of skates. That's already pretty heavy. So I'm going to have to be economical with the other things that I decide to pack, so yeah. skates I guess if, if one breaks I just use the other pair right how privileged how very privileged do you know what? I want to show you something I was working on yesterday as well brilliant bit of kit because it's roll true road trip Birmingham I made some special gear for it this is roll true Birmingham and then the Brummy skyline that one I actually kind of messed up. The vinyl kind of melted. Basically, I always need a change of t-shirt. If I'm going out for a long skate, I need to have a change because I sweat. So that's why I made two and I have to decide which to wear first. I, might, I think I'll wear the pink one first and chain into the black. So we're gonna go pink on pink. Pink socks would definitely be overkill. So I'm gonna go for this color. And I need some socks for under my socks for my street skates, which are quite tough inside and, and, and they're, they're quite roomy. So I can afford to wear an extra sock. My jam skates, not so. I only wear one pair of socks with my jam skates. Every day is leg day hoodie. <coughs> I do that a lot, man. I don't know how to drink properly. I'm gonna take these and hopefully I'm not gonna wear them today. But I imagine I will have to on one train or other. A little bit of creme de la creme. At least my hands. Yeah, I think just my hands, maybe knees. But for no reason, I was gonna see my knees. Unless I get lucky tonight. I'm not getting lucky tonight. Getting lucky tonight is getting home before midnight. That's what getting lucky tonight is. If there are no delays, I get back home today. That'll be beautiful, that'll be luck enough for me. So 
showed you these earlier and you might be thinking, what's that all about? Blister plasters? Well, boot soreness. Basically, if you're wearing in your, your skate, this will help you. What you want to do is kind of skate until you feel the sore spot. Then when you know where it is, simply put a blister plaster over it and that will give you perfect release. Right there. That was not medical advice, okay? Yeah, I'm not a doctor. I'm just a skater. And that works for me. I packed as light as I know how, but still my bag is heavier than ideal. I'm off to Stratford Station, where I bought my ticket from. So it's a slight, it's a slight escape to start my journey off. Let me practice this transition. Touchdown in Brumtown. That's just a random accident. I don't know if I'm and, um, I'm waiting on my handler. Get me to come get me. Where are you hiding, bro? Oh. <laughs> yeah, just had a little guided tour around Brum City Centre. Now, I'm gonna grab some healthy food. For the golden arches, whoa. Basically, I was hoping to maybe skate. I was hoping to skate all the way up to this event here tonight and then just roll in and be like, yo, get me. But I didn't realize, and I should have checked it, but this venue is, is quite a ways away from uh, from the city centre, so would have been a bit of a trick trying to get here by uh, public public transport, especially. So I've just come with Dean O, with Dino and Said, who I met just now, um, and, and I'm here as they're as they're setting up the rink for the event tonight. A little viewing platform up there. <laughs> This is a, this is a first for me. I've not, I've never done an appearance before. I just fell over, speeding around. No one's even in here yet. I just fell over. So I don't know if people are thinking, hmm. You've seen my work. You've seen my work. You've seen my work. You've seen my work. My Do you know what? Yeah, I was having a conversation with Roller Rouge and Dev the other day on a live a Instagram live, and we were talking about running a rink. Like, I would love to own a rink, like, something like this. Well, this is a sports hall, but something of this magnitude. That's an actual rink, do you know what I mean? The real, true rink. But I wouldn't want to run a rink. I wouldn't want to operate a rink, which is, you get me, that's what, that's what owning a rink is all about, isn't it? Unless you're a venture capitalist and, well, I'm a couple million short of that. So, yeah, I'm going to have to find the lazy man's way to own a rink. You never know what the future holds, man. There could be a road to rink. Last year, I was just doing my thing and I got an email. Yo, you wanna go to South Africa? Yeah, why not? Would you like to come guest star? Would you like to, whatever, at, um, at Roll Out Birmingham? <laughs> yeah, man, let's bloody do it. So, man, you never know what's around the corner. Roll true rink. Mm. East London, you get me? Might just be there.
The skate event was lit. Now I'm at Franco Manco to get some munch. You get me? So yeah, fill my belly and all that. I kind of had to rush to get my train, but it was too late. So I was on an overcrowded train. But it was just kind of emptied out. Don't know how long I got to home, but I am flipping tired. The roller disco was flipping dope. Thanks to Dino, thanks to roll out Birmingham. I'll be back, man. 100% I'll be back to Birmingham. I vaguely remember earlier saying, and it's only vague, this memory, because I am completely and utterly pooped. But I vaguely remember saying success would be getting back home before midnight. And I'm back home, but it's too bloody 16 in the morning, so yeah. Great day, great day. I'm about to drink some water, strip my clothes off, and dive face first into bed. Yes, yes, yes. That's what I'm gonna do. So yeah, again, love, peace, unity, joy, harmony, fraternity. And every single day is leg day.